Hi guys, welcome back to another beauty vlog here at Forest Side. Today we're going to be talking about some of the beautiful colours of autumn. As you can see, I've embraced the berry lip and everywhere you look in the shops and in nature at this time of year, you're going to see beautiful tones of burgundy, browns, russets, plums and berries. So it's a really rich and sumptuous time of the year and it's time that you can make a statement with your makeup. Today I've opted for a burgundy lip. So it's like a red, but it's got a bit more depth to it. Now, if you're not up for making a statement with your lips, we will be focusing on eyes shortly, but I wanna to talk to you about the color I'm wearing today. So it's the Estee Lauder Envy Lipstick in the shade Thrilling, and it's a really beautiful, deep, deep red. Um, so you have to figure out though at this time of year which shade you're going to go for. Are you more of a red or more of a plum? If you talk to someone at the makeup counter they should be able to tell you based on your undertones which will suit you better. You'll instantly be more drawn to one but for me it's definitely about the deep reds. This shade reminds me of cherries, it reminds me of warmth, it just makes me feel so autumnal so I just love it at this time of year. You can choose to leave your lipstick matte, which is a big trend at the moment, but personally, I'm a gloss girl. So I've gone over my Estee Lauder lipstick with a bit of a Lancome Juicy Tube. This is the shade Caramel Gospel, and it's given a nice shine to my lips, made them look fuller and more voluptuous. And I just think, it's a bit more me. Now, if you don't want to make a statement with your lips, you can introduce these beautiful colors to your eyes. And coming up next, I'm going to show you how to create a simple, beautiful look that's perfect for autumn, that incorporates coppers, reds, and cherries, but isn't too much of a statement. So stay tuned. So for Amy today, I've started with foundation, a bit of blush, done her eyebrows and a base on her eyes. For the base, I've used Call My Buff Eyeshadow from Benefit, and it's just given a gorgeous neutral sheen all over her eyelids. Next, we're gonna go on to her eyelids with It's Complicated, which is also from Benefit. So using a flat brush, I'm going to apply this to her lid, stopping just below the crease. So our neutral shimmery color at the start went all the way up to the brow bone to add highlight and shine. Next, I'm going to go in with this beautiful burgundy tone, which is called Raspberry Beret from Clinique. So this is our gorgeous introduction of the burgundy to the eyes. And I'm just softly applying this to the crease. Some people might be a bit afraid to use reds on the eyes. You might think it might look, make you look very tired or like you've had a hit to the eye. But using the right shade can look really, really beautiful and warm and soft. Using that same colour, I'm going to run that underneath the eyes if you look up. Just smoothing out any little creases. And just running that underneath the eye. And it's a really nice, soft effect. So depending on your style, you might want to just leave it like that, but we're going to make it a little bit smokier still. And we're going to use chocolate covered cherry, also by Clinique. So again, I'm taking a little crease brush and I'm focusing right on the outer corner this time. And it's going to give us a lovely smoky effect to the eye. You can make it as dramatic or as subtle as you like, depending on your own style. Because the lip was so bold, I think I want to make the eye Something that's a little more gentle and more wearable for the everyday woman. Someone who's not as confident with their makeup but still wants to experiment with these colours. And then I'm going to run that colour as well underneath the eye. Always make sure when you're working with dark colours that you tap the excess off your brush or give your brush a little shake to make sure that it doesn't fall onto your foundation. If it does, you can always clean it up, but you'll just save yourself some hassle. Finally, I'm just going back in with that Raspberry Beret. I'm going to get Amy to keep her eyes open for me. I'm just going to smoke this out to make sure I can really see it when her eyes are open. It's so pretty and soft. So the next step for the eyes is to add our mascara. I'm using the number seven Lash Impact Mascara from Boots and I just love the packaging of this. It's so sparkly and girly. So if you look down to your knees, I'm going to wiggle this through the lashes. And your eye makeup's never finished until you get your mascara on. So if you're doing smoky eyes on yourself or a look like this and you think it's all looking a bit weird, once you get your mascara on, it usually ties it all together. 
So I'm wiggling the wand through the lashes to make sure I coat every single lash evenly. And by starting at the root, I'm wiggling it right up and coating right to the ends of the lashes. Now an important tip for doing your bottom lash mascara, you want to make sure that the top lashes are dry first because if Amy was to look up right now and we worked on her bottom lashes we would get those little dots of mascara um, along the top of her eyelid which is what we want to avoid. So I'm going to move on while those are drying to her um, liquid eyeliner. So if you close your eyes I'm using the gel liner from um, Boots Number no. 7 which is really really inky, it's really soft and pliable and easy to work with which is great because sometimes gel liners can dry out pretty quickly. So I'm just applying a thin line really close to the lash line. It's just going to add a bit of definition and a bit of a pop to the eyes rather than creating a dramatic winged effect or anything. And if you're going to ever apply fake lashes, I would definitely recommend doing a thin line of liquid liner or gel liner first, just to conceal the band of the lashes. Finish off the gel liner, I'm getting Amy to look up and away from my brush, and I'm going to continue the line right down into the inner corner of her eye. And I'm actually just dragging it down into a little point. And it gives you a nice dramatic eye without being too much. If you look the other way now, I'm just going to finish that line. So it's like an inverted little cat eye. It creates a really nice shape. So because I've dragged my liquid liner right into the inner corners, I want to put some black pencil liner into her waterline. And that's going to make her eye look complete. So right now we've got dark underneath the eye, we've got the white of her eyeball, and her waterline is still pink. So by darkening that, it'll make the eye look um, like it's got something to rest on and it'll give us that all over smoky effect. So if you look up, my pencil's sharpened just for hygiene. And we're gonna run that into the waterline. This is the number seven blackest black pencil. And it's got her eyes smoldering. Some people don't really like black in the waterline, it's definitely a personal preference, but I just think it helps her to look a bit more smoldering. And now if you look up for me, we can put this mascara onto the bottom lashes. So you can see now, we've got that beautiful burgundy eye. It's slightly smoked out, but it's not too much. It's a really nice, simple look that you can hopefully create easily for yourself. Now, because we've had the bold lip before this, we're gonna pair this with a nice nude lip because we've got a bit of color on the eyes. The eyes are doing the talking, so we wanna keep the lips neutral um, so as the eyes remain the focus. So I'm using this lipstick from Marks and Spencers. It's the Rosie for Autograph collection. I absolutely love these lipsticks. They're really creamy, really long lasting, and they smell great as well. So this is the shade Silk Rosie, which is a nice dark nude. There's a little bit of a berry tone to it, but with Amy's dark coloring, it's going to look quite nude and it'll be beautiful on her. Now, if you're slightly paler than Amy, or if you have lighter hair, you might wanna go for a lighter nude because this will look like quite a strong color on you. So just find the nude that works for you. Finally, we're going to finish with a little bit of lip gloss. So this is the Autograph Mirror Shine Lip Lacquer, also from Marks and & Spencers, and this is in the shade Nude. So as I've mentioned, I'm a gloss girl. You can obviously leave the lips matte. This lipstick does have a little bit of a shine to it, which is nice. Um, so if you don't want to add a gloss, you don't have to, but I just always love a bit of gloss. So I'm taking this Nude Lip Gloss and applying it just to the center of the mouth. So gloss, because it's a liquid, it will naturally travel, so you don't need to put it on all the way out to the outer corners of your mouth. Because when you do that, that's when you tend to get that goopy, sort of sticky uh, gathering of gloss in the corners of your mouth, which we'd quite like to avoid. 
and placing gloss just in the centre of your mouth gives the illusion that you're pouting, makes your lips look fuller. And who doesn't want fuller lips? So that's our completed look on Amy. As you can see, her eyes look absolutely beautiful. She's got that little hint of burgundy and cherries and raspberries on her eyes, but it's all tied together beautifully with our soft liners and our gorgeous gold base shade. And then this nude on her lips, which has that little hint of plum in it, is just gorgeous and lifted by our nude gloss. So it's an easy, wearable look that anybody can try to introduce the autumn color palette into your makeup wardrobe.